All right, everyone, T-Mobile just broke another record for blazing fast 5G download speed capability, and they're doing this with their latest technology. Now, I've recently covered things about their 5G standalone network. This is using that. And then also, more recently, their announcement of 5G Advanced, which is the next level of 5G capability. And so the other aspect to this, that's all on their network side, but then it's your device, so what type of device you have to have. So they have just surpassed 6.3 gigabits per second for download speed on a phone. And I'll talk about how you get that. Um, it is a real world test. This is not a theoretical uh, test that's out there. And now on my channel, I talk a lot about uh, 5G home internet, and this is a T-Mobile gateway. And you know this can benefit from a lot of the advances in the 5G network, but to get the blazing fast speeds we're talking about here, you need to get a better modem. So let's dive into the details so you can find out how you can do this yourself uh, with your device. Now, before I get too far though, I do wanna say this is Nate, and this is the Nate or Tater channel. And I appreciate if you give me that thumbs up button on the video right down below, and then also consider subscribing to my channel so you can see more stuff like this. That really does help me grow. So thanks for all you that do that. All right, so here is T-Mobile's press release about it. I will go through it and point out things where maybe it's a little bit of a stretch and then other areas where um, they have some good information in there. So uh, they just did this here in March of 2025. And what you can see here is that they used a standard device, so a Samsung S25, which has a Snapdragon X80 modem in it, which is a very good modem. And with that one, they were able to get... Um, not quite the 6.3, but they got 4.3 gigabits per second of download. And they're able to do this on their 5G standalone network and then aggregating multiple different bands. So in this case, they aggregated both their N41 band, their N71 band, N25 band, and the N66 band of 5G. All of those, they're able to aggregate up to six of them. So I, I don't think they gave the details of exactly... It was probably two N41s and two um, N25s and then N71 and a, a N66 is my assumption. But the point there is the way I think about aggregation is basically lanes of highway. So let's say you have an interstate and you know it has a speed limit, but you can add more lanes to it. So these newer technology carrier aggregation on both the um, T-Mobile network side and the phone side are able to stack bands up side by side so you're getting more lanes of traffic so obviously you can send more um you know cars through that or more data through it without having to actually increase the capability or the signal strength because you're just connecting to more of the signals so that's how they're doing it in order for them to get the 6.3 gigabits per second it was a test device that had the x85 um, qualcomm modem which is not officially released yet. And that one was able to prove out that 6.3. So that's really good. And I think the upload was something like 2.3. Um, so still very fast, but upload is less. And I think because upload, I think they only do two uh, carrier aggregation on the upload capability here. So, you know, on these devices, like a most of the T-Mobile 5G home internets have like an X62 modem in them um, equivalent either a MediaTek or Qualcomm in there and so they cannot aggregate as much or they can't add as many lanes of traffic on that freeway and that's going to keep them slower but they can do the 5G SA so I've gotten um, very fast speed and with a third party modem like this one this one is a Chester Cheetah and this one is a X75 modem so certainly newer generation more capable than what you can get in their stock gateways so I'm able to take the SIM card out of that, put it in here, and tweak some settings. And then this one's gotten over a gig of real-world testing. I'm a mile away from the tower, um, so I can get that. Again, that's an X75, and hopefully you know, those will continue to expand and get the X80, X85 type modems in the future. All right, so uh, what else here? I mean, they just go into some examples. I mean, honestly, 6 gigabits per second, that's blazing fast. I don't see a need today to get that kind of speed. But the truth is you won't, um, you know, most likely get that speed. I'm sure that it was a real world test, but I'm sure it was like ideal cases. And so if you're further away, you won't get as, as fast. But it really does open the door that even if you are on a fringe area and you get weaker signal, the fact that you can connect to more of them is still going to help your speed. So you don't have to be close to the tower. 
um, which is a big benefit over something like millimeter wave, which is very fast. You can get these gigabits per second on one connection, but the signal doesn't travel far. So to me, that's the big benefit of this is that you're able to still get a big improvement even if you're further away, you have uh, less than ideal signal in there. All right, so if I just go over to Qualcomm side and go to their X85 to just learn a little bit more about what this uh, chipset does, this modem here, you can see that they talk about it has the um, you know AI processor. I think they've had four generations of AI processors, not really new. Uh, they have the transceiver, they have a millimeter wave module, and then they have the RF front end. And something to note here is that these do support the satellite connection. So you might have heard a lot about um, you know, SpaceX or other companies that are now trying to use satellite signal to help, especially right now with just text messaging. Um, so even if you don't have a cell signal, you can actually ping directly from your phone to the satellite. And uh, that's really cool. And these obviously are designed to help with that uh, as well. And I know their plan is to try to do more than just text messaging. Right now, they don't have the bandwidth um, to do that. Some of that is FCC um, regs to not allow the higher bandwidth, but that will be coming, I'm sure. All right, so here on the Qualcomm chip, the thing I'll point out is the top left here where it says first 400. This is the widest bandwidth. So this is what I'm talking about, the lanes of traffic. So this one does 400 megahertz of bandwidth, not to be confused with speed um, of you know megabits per second. But for reference here, a X62 Qualcomm modem can do 120 megahertz of bandwidth. So, you know, not quite uh, four times less bandwidth so that is really how these newer modems are able to get faster speed um, it's really not connecting to a faster signal it's all about uh, stacking up more of them together so that one's showing you that the theoretical fastest is 12.4 or 12.5 gigabits per second obviously you typically would not see that in the real world but that is the um, the max uh, theoretical I think for reference I think my x75 here the max theoretical is probably 10 gigs per second I believe is what it's uh, rated at but again you know I get about one or I got 1.1 gigabits per second in real world testing for me uh, with that and a waveform 4x4 uh, antenna outdoors okay so then uh, x85 fastest upload is 3.7 so uh, that gives you an idea that the upload is about, you know, three to four times slower than the download. And that's because, you know, uh, the X85 can do up to four um, carrier aggregation. But again, T-Mobile doesn't support that. So they only do, I think, two right now. So you have to have the combination of the device, the modem capability, and then the network capability, obviously, is, is the key stuff. So that's really the key, I would say, about this um, update. It is something that's out there today. The 5G Advanced is... You know, not quite uh, nationwide, but a lot of people are seeing it already here. I know I've seen it on my, even my stock T-Mobile Gateway, the white one the, that I have, the G4 AR. That one's locked onto the 5G SA. Obviously, with a third-party one, I can lock it onto 5G SA, and I'm getting that uh, really good speed. I'm getting more carrier aggregation, and um, so that's how I'm getting some really fast speed here at my house. If you have any questions, do put them down in the comments below. I do actually read the questions or the comments. I'll reply to them if it's appropriate. And then, of course, stay tuned for more videos. I like to cover all this stuff and I keep you guys updated. So uh, thanks for watching. Here's some more videos that you can uh, click on to watch more stuff.